Morning, everyone. Welcome to Toyota. This is SEMA, so uh, they told me that I'm supposed to start this uh, little press conference off here with uh, something that would be entertaining and engaging. So I couldn't think of anything other than this cowbell. So here we go. This is a cheap cowbell, by the way. Anyway. So good, again, good morning. My name is Ed Locus. I'm the vice president of marketing and motorsports. And uh, as you know, Toyota has had a very strong presence at SEMA for many years. Over the years, we've featured some very cool cars in our display, and it's been uh, a great way to highlight all the potential Toyota products. Most of the time, we create these vehicles ourselves, often with the help of our performance division, TRD. But we also typically engage with some of the aftermarket's finest to help illustrate the, the many possibilities. And this year we have a stunning and diverse group of vehicles created by builders from all across the country. Now Toyota has always made a priority of listening to our customers. They drive, driving us to build vehicles that meet their needs and suit their lifestyles. And we like to engage them directly to see exactly what excites them. So this year we decided to do something different at SEMA. We decided to do something that would bring the car enthusiasts and race fans directly into this process through our social media channels. And it's a perfect fit for our new tagline, Let's Go Places. But rather than listen to me and Toyota talk about all the great things that are happening at Toyota, I'd like to bring out our special MC. Many of you know this guy. If you don't know him, you're not a fan of racing. From Top Gear on the History Channel, and from NASCAR, Speed's Trackside, and Race Day. So let's hear from my good friend, Rutledge Wood. Come on up, Rutledge. Hey, thanks, Ed. Morning, everybody. Uh, now, Ed, I appreciate you having me. Uh, a lot of people may not know we have something in common. On Top Gear, we do things like we try to turn a car into a rocket ship, and you've actually towed a space shuttle with that Tundra that's right behind me, so I feel like we're right on the same page, you and I. Yeah, I got a chance to ride in that stock Tundra, totally completely stock. stock Tundra, amazing. as it towed the uh, Space Shuttle Endeavor across the 405, and the most amazing thing about it was the look of the 405 with absolutely no cars on it. And have you ever driven on it? I don't think that ever happens at any time ever, but it did happen then, it was spectacular. Show off. Well, hey, I can't wait to, we're going to get a chance to go check out the car. And we want to say a special hello, uh, there's a lot of people watching at home on live stream. We've got a lot of friends back east that are caught in uh, Hurricane Sandy, what's going on there, so we're thinking about them, hope you guys will be able to catch up and watch this later. But uh, I think I should get this thing started, what do you think? Let's get after it. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Ed Lacus, everybody. So this is a big thing for Toyota. Uh, we're really excited to be here. I, I am a big, big Toyota fan, from my FJ40 to my Crew Max 4x4. Uh, I just love the stuff. I still am hoping that I can get my dream car, which is a 97 Twin Turbo Supra in the Royal Sapphire Pearl. And if any of you helped make Fast and Furious and ran those prices up on me, let's talk later. Appreciate it. But uh, we got a lot of great cars to tell you about. I, of course, need to mention these four celebrities that are standing in front of us, four of your top professional Toyota drivers. This is a big deal Toyota's doing this year with the Toyota Racing Dream Build Challenge. The idea was to get these four racers in a friendly competition to get them to gather some friends together, build some cars. So over here on my right from NASCAR, we've got Clint Boyer and Kyle Busch. Over here from the Toyota Racing NHRA family, we've got Alexis DeJoria and Tom Brown. So, People have been able to follow along with all of their builds. It's been on the Toyota Racing Facebook page. They've seen pictures, they've seen videos, and fans have been able to vote the whole time it's been going on. It started 10 days ago, and the voting closed last night. So in just a few minutes, we're going to unveil who the winner is, and someone's going to get $50,000 towards their charity, uh, and this is going to be really special. But I should warn you, I do not know who, it, who won. Ed doesn't, and they're not going to tell us apparently until the very end. So we're going to get to all these cars in just a minute. First thing, though, i got to point out some of the cool cars that Toyota has built and brought here. Uh, obviously, right over here, you guys can see the all-new Avalon is here. It is radically different. It's a great-looking car. 
Uh, this beautiful black and white over here was built by Dub Magazine, and you know it fits Dub style. It is slammed on 22s with a beautiful, beautiful little concave to those wheels. That might be one of, one of my favorites. But I'll tell you, I'll explain that later, how that works. See, it looks like it's got a bigger lip than it does anyway. So that's a beautiful one. It's got a great, uh, great interior, great stereo. Uh, the red ones, the TRD brought those out. This red Avalon's a V6. It's got a TRD supercharger on there, big brake kit. It has a stereo just loud enough that yesterday I got in trouble for messing with it during rehearsal. So if there's anyone here from SEMA, I apologize. I did not know the rules, but uh, it's really bumping. This white one right over here is, is a really cool, and that's another TRD Avalon that is a hybrid. Uh, it's got a really cool white and blue theme. It's got a sports suspension on it. And Rob Crawford's here from the Toyota Technical Center right over here, Rob. He, he and the gang are here uh, all the way down from Michigan. You guys wave hands a little bit. Thank you guys for being here. Everybody can come over and talk to them a little bit later. Uh, but those are some really cool, brand new cars you're not going to get to see anywhere else. Right over here, TRD brought this FJ Cruiser that they're calling the FJS. It's their take on what they would love to make as their dream build. It's got another TRD supercharger on it. It's got a honest-to-goodness manual transmission for the diehards like me. Uh, Bilstein shocks. That thing is an SUV that will really take you places. It'll go anywhere. Uh, over here, we have my friends, Britt Myers and... Gerald. I love you. I totally, <laughs> I totally missed my notes up. Gerald. Gerald. Gerald, I love you. You know that. These are two of the Toyota Pro Bass Anglers. They built this beautiful truck. Gerald Swindle and Britt Myers came up with this idea, sitting around one night at a campfire with the other Toyota Pro Bass Anglers, and this thing is amazing. Uh, I've asked to take it home, and Gerald told me to kiss his bass. I guess that's something they, they say in that. I don't know enough about fishing, but... Uh, this thing's beautiful, 12 inch lift, everything in the back that you could possibly need. And you can probably go into shallow ponds with that truck and fish out of it. So Rods, reels, everything else. Uh, it's a gorgeous thing. So you guys give us a little wave. Everybody come say hi. Uh, come hang out with Gerald and Brett. But you know what? It's time to get to the builds. Are you ready, Clint? Let's do this. Let's introduce you guys to the Toyota Racing Dream Build Challenge teams. Here we go. I don't think you. Oh, uh, you go right there. Yes. I have a mark, and I wasn't supposed to go up this mark. That's why I didn't want you there. to get up here. Thank you, friend. Right. Yes. How are you doing, man? I'm doing really good, really good. It's so much fun to be here at the Seaman Show. We're all car guys in, in this world, and, and gals. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to see all the neat cars and, and you know, represent uh, Toyota. And we've had a lot of fun with this Dream Build Challenge. It's, you know, we're, everything is, is uh, competition with us racers. And Kyle and I have been back and forth. Antron Brown, I don't know. He's, he's got a, a funny car built out of the Sequoia down there. And uh, we've had a lot of fun. Appreciate Toyota for his to have. Now let's talk about this teched out Prius that you yes. built. This, of course, you're, you're trying to raise money for the Emporia Community Foundation, your hometown yep. Emporia, Kansas. So how did you guys come up with this magic? Well, um, you know, I wanted something very manly, very uh, aggressive, so I, I chose the Prius. And uh, uh, we've had a lot of fun. All my friends at RK uh, Motors, uh, you know, my boss actually, Rob Kaufman, owns that. And uh, they built an uh, awesome car. I had a lot of fun with the build. And, man, I'm telling you, it's running right now. It is. It's... It's that quiet. Yes. It's on its batteries. Yes, it's exactly. There's a 17 right. inch touchscreen monitor. You got 12 inch tablets in the back. Instead of rear views, you got rear cameras. I mean, anything that you could think, imagine. And a big battery. And a huge battery. <laughs> yes. That's it. Wow. That's good looking. And we're going to get a little, get to it in just a minute. But let's talk about you. Let's talk about you, third in points. No, really, it's running. I, I know that. Funny guy. Yeah. It's been a good year, uh, you know, moving over to the MWR camp, to Toyota World. It's, it's, uh, you couldn't ask for a better year. Won three races and still in this thing, uh, race for a championship. So very proud of, uh, you know, where we're at so far. Three races left, 26 points out. That's right. Good luck, brother. You know what? Let's, let's crank this thing up. I want to hear some tunes. For the love of God, it's running already. <laughs> let's blast this thing out. Does it? Yes. This is gonna happen. It's not fair, Antron. You wait till you hear his run. 
Yeah, but, you know, in defense, he can't hear the radio in his. <laughs> this is my new favorite song right here. You know this? Uh, I don't have a clue what it is. There's no George Strait in there, so I'm a little bit lost here. How about him for putting Boyer in his boat, everybody? Yes. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm now with Kyle Bush. We are standing in front of the Rowdy Edition Camry. Cal, first off, you're here raising money, hopefully, for the Kyle Bush Foundation that you guys set up. But yep. Tell us about this camera that you guys built. Well, I appreciate it. It's uh, really a, a unique opportunity to build and <coughs> the opportunity to have a dream built from Toyota. They did uh, a great job giving us that. And this is the Rowdy Edition Camry. This is kind of something that's uh, subtle yet stylish, and it's got some attitude and, uh, of course, some, some feelings of, of the NASCAR circuit a little bit. You know, the little splitter, some spoiler and uh, hopefully some speed too. So, um, you know, this piece here was just kind of my idea of something that anybody else out there on the road can kind of turn their Camry into. Obviously, there's a lot of Camrys out there on the road uh, today, something over 200,000 sold a year. So, uh, Toyota does a great job in producing the Camry. And, uh, you know, to me, maybe, maybe we can turn this into a rowdy Camry and uh, sell it all right out of the dealership. What do you guys think, huh? Yeah. Woo! Now this being part of the Dream Build Challenge, I know it's been a lot of fun for you all. You've got so many fans that have been out there. But let's talk about the Kyle Busch Foundation and why is an event like this is so cool for you to get to raise money. Well, the Kyle Busch Foundation uh, started years ago with myself, my wife Samantha. Of course, she's taken a huge toll in, in, in working on everything and, and uh, being a part of the kids' lives and going to the different homes that we support. Uh, we support five to six different homes across the United States, actually one being in Las Vegas here, my hometown as well as uh, Phoenix, Arizona, North Carolina, Michigan, and Georgia. So uh, we've got homes that we raise money for, and we try to support the kids who don't have everything given to them, you know. So we try to help them out as best we can and make their Christmas holiday special. And, of course, nothing else would be better than winning the $50,000 for this Dream Build competition uh, with the help of my friends at Detroit Speed with my Rowdy Edition Camry to uh, make those kids' holiday here special, very special. What do you say? You want to fire it up? Yeah, let's check it out, man. Here. Hit it, Stacy. He's, he's got some spice. He's got some speed. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. How's that sound working there? He's got some sound on. I think I got it covered. How about a hand for Kyle Bush and the Rowdy Edition Camry, everybody? All right. Very nice. Hello. 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 Now I'm over here with Alexis Ajore, and you have built this incredible Tundra here. I uh, hope we raise money for the Harbor Safety Kids. Safety yeah, Harbor Kids. Kids. Safety yes. Harbor Kids. Now you live life, you know, a thousand feet at a time at a rapid pace, and you created something that can really go anywhere. Tell us about wanting to build this tundra. Well, I was pretty sure that none of these guys was gonna, were going to pick an off-road truck, just something in the I don't know. Wanted to do something completely different. Um, off-road is kind of, you know, it's in my heart. I got to do the Baja 1000 with my dad when I was 16. Um, I ride uh, motorcycles and dirt bikes, so uh, yeah, I mean, I, I love it. I love all types of racing, but this is something I really want to start to get into. Um, but NHRA is first and foremost, of course. Um, just want to thank Toyota for you know giving this rookie driver a chance at this uh, awesome competition and these great guys. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing it. It's for a great cause, Safety Harbor Kids. Uh, it's for foster kids, basically. And you know what? The money really does go to them. I've seen it firsthand. Um, it's a wonderful organization, um, and they are here today. So I really hope we win this for them. Um, what a great build. We, we got to do a Toyota Tundra pre-runner. 37-inch uh, Maxxis tires, method wheels. Um, you know, I've got my, my guys at Hooker Harness who build, who make my seatbelts and my Nitro Funny car. I got to put them in this car too. So, um, yeah, I mean, hey, I'd love to joke your cars, guys. Just line them up. Oh, <laughs> oh I love you. She'd love to joke your cars. And wait till you hear this thing start up. Yeah, you it's know, we're going to get you in a second. Yeah, Clint is still running, you know. Just quiet as could be. 
Hey, you realize you have a suspension on this thing that is nicer than many people that race off-road professionally. Uh, you really went all out with it. I love that. Yeah, I did. I, um, maybe uh, they'll let me pre-run it in Baja one day. If I'm lucky. Oh, that'd be, that'd be awesome. awesome. I mean, I know we love you in the funny car, but I, I mean, you got a couple weekends off. You can run that too, right? You guys want to hear it fired up? Yeah. Let's hear it. Now, if you can look over here past the ultimate fishing tundra by Britt and Gerald here, I'm over here with my friend Antron Browning. Antron, I don't know how else to put it, but this could be my favorite car I've ever seen. As a family man, I understand that you got to get the kids around, and you'd like to get them there one quarter mile at a time. Tell us about the Drac Proya that you built. Well, you know, it was one of those deals where... Uh, I always take my kids to school in the morning, and I drive a Sequoia, and it was so funny because my wife's here, so she's going to find out the secret why the kids like me to take them to school, you know, so I rev it up a little bit, and you know, and I hit the gas, and you know, it goes boom, and it sets them back, well, they think it's doing a wheelie, so they go, Daddy, do a wheelie, do a wheelie, and my little one's in the back seat, goes, Daddy, do it again, do it again, like, you know what I mean, so I was thinking about, so you know what, I said, wouldn't it be cool to like load the whole family up. And you know, because my kids are like me, they got ADD. They got that short attention span. So if I can get them places real quick, it makes the ride a lot less painful. You know what I mean? Like, you get know what I mean? So it's like, if I can make a fast family vehicle, it'll be off the charts. You know what I mean? I keep them all happy. I keep my wife, my wife talks a lot. It'll keep her shut up because she'd be scared for her life. <laughs> she may be talking, you just won't hear her in this. No, she you won't, because she'll tell me, slow down, I couldn't hear because you know, rev up, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely, you know? Now, I know you're, you're helping to help raise money for Racers for Christ, but our points leader, top fuel man right here, how are you feeling about the championship? It's, it's been going really good. This last weekend was like, uh, it's like everything that can go wrong went wrong, but uh, our boys, we just regrouped. We had an electrical problem, and we went testing yesterday, so it all came out right. The car is back to normal. And uh, we're just pumped up to go to Pomona. We got a little bit of, we got we, probably, we got a good lead, but uh, it's not over till it's over. So we're just gonna keep our heads down. This NHRA racing's been intense this year, especially with the countdown where you reset the points. And uh, it, it makes you go crazy. I mean, it's great first racers, but the fans love it. You see them say, Andrew, I can't, let's go down to Pomona. I'm like, I don't wanna go to Pomona. <laughs> you had it locked up a few weeks before. Okay, before we fire this up, I need to mention, that this thing is uh, has a supercharger on it from TRD. It also has a custom set of zoomies. It's going to be really, really loud. So uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Shh, shh, shh. Clint's car still running. Oh, <laughs> oh Clint's car still running. Antron, fire that bad boy up. Hit it, Mark. Yeah, you guys come on over here before we announce the winner here at the Toyota Racing Dream Build Challenge. I got to brag on Ed and everybody at Toyota. They're making a donation to everybody's charity, so let's give them a hand. Uh, a really cool thing to be a part of. Ed, are you nervous? You're holding on to it right there. I've got it right here. Pressure's on. You're sweating a little, Rutledge. I am. I do that. Those hot lights. These lights. Is your car still running? That is amazing. <laughs> You should. <laughs> 50 miles per gallon, even with the customization, right? That's it. <laughs> Fair point. We have 500 mile races, they have three seconds. It's a little bit longer, but that's close. Close enough. All right, you ready? Are you ready? I think I'm ready to announce it. All right, here we go. The winner, the Toyota Racing Dream Build Challenge is... Team Kyle Busch and the Rowdy King. <laughs> Let's give it up for Kyle. Congratulations. 
There's a, we have an oversized check coming in for you. A gigantic check. Get on up here, Big Daddy. Big shout out to Detroit Speed, everybody that worked so hard on this. Come on up, buddy. Huge shout out to Detroit Speed. Woo! <laughs> Guys are my boys. My boys, dude. All right. This camera. I got it. Yeah, that's it. You guys give Kyle Bush a hand. Give the Kyle Bush Foundation a hand. I'll tell you what, my wife's going to be using the... Uh, She's going to have a lot of Christmas gifts to go get again this year. So uh, the kids at the Kyle Busch Foundation are going to love that. And uh, we appreciate Toyota's support. Everybody that's been a part of this program, all my friends here, my competitors that we had to go up against, and, um, you know, my friends at Detroit Speed for building such an awesome piece. Really looking forward to seeing Ed put this out on the road. There you go. There you go. Kyle Busch, everybody. Now let's give another hand for all the charities, Racers for Christ. Thank you, Harvey, for the Foundation. Now,